Hi friends, today we are going to discuss some special type of problem on beam and how to draw shear force and bending moment diagram for it. Okay. Now let's consider a beam which of length L and a moment M acting middle of it. Here we can see R and R B are reaction forces acting at point A and B respectively. Okay. So let's consider upward force equal to downward force. Okay, here R A plus R B is nothing but zero. Okay, we get one equation, and here two unknowns are there, so we need one more equation. Okay, let's consider moment at A and moment at B is zero, as it is a simply supported beam. Both side moment or the end moment will be zero. Okay, so let's consider moment at A first. So before that, let's see what is the sign convention I have done. So here positive clockwise. Moment I have taken as positive value and anti-clockwise I taken as negative value. Okay, so moment at A, if I am considering this point A, this moment will create a positive effect or sorry a clockwise effect, so the value will be positive. Okay, and R B into L will create a moment which is acting a anti-clockwise direction, so it will be negative. So here I have written moment at A is nothing but M. This M. Minus R B into L equal to zero. So if you solve this equation, we'll get R B is nothing but minus sorry M by L. Okay. So R B is nothing but positive M by L. So if you substitute this value in our previous equation, we'll get R A is nothing but minus M by L. Okay. Or we can just confirm the same thing by using this, considering the moment at B. Okay. So if you substitute B values or the moment at B here, both moment M And R A into L acting positive or clockwise direction. Okay, so here M plus R A into L. So if you consider this point, this will create a clockwise moment, and this R A into this perpendicular length will create another moment which is also acting in positive or clockwise direction. Okay, so this also will make a positive value. So here I'll get M plus R A into L is nothing but zero. So here again R A will get the value of minus M by L. So both reaction I'll get. Uh, now I got it. So R A is negative and R B is positive. It's nothing but R A is acting downward direction. Okay. So downward direction I have changed the direction of R A. So here we can draw the shear force diagram. So here I have considered two values for each point so that it will be easy for drawing the shear force diagram. So here I have considered shear force at A just left equal to zero. So before that, I just want to introduce you the sign convention, which is a corner you can see here. Left side, whatever the force acting upward direction, I have considered as positive and downward as negative. Right hand side, just opposite of this. Okay. Now see, if you see shear force at A, right hand side, I have only one R B which is acting upward direction. So upward direction, right hand side is negative. So I have made it as minus M by L. Now see shear force at B. At B, just left hand side. If you look left hand side, only one force is there, so which is acting downward direction. It's nothing but M by L. So here, left hand side force downward direction negative sign. We can see here it's a negative sign. Now see, I have made R B just left is minus M by L. Now just right hand side of <coughs> that point B, it's nothing but zero. Now, by using these values, means at each point we have got two values. So just point or mark the points. Okay. Now we can draw shear force diagram as like this: zero minus m by l again plus m. Sorry, minus m by l then zero. So shear force diagram will look like this. Okay. Now we'll draw bending moment diagram. Bending moment diagram is little tricky. Okay. So here we know bending moment at A is nothing but zero. Let's consider a point, some distance A. This point is x. I have considered it's a x value. Okay. Now see bending moment at x. Bending moment at x is. So again about this point x, this force will create an anti-clockwise effect. Okay. So I have considered this as a negative. So negative. This length into perpendicular distance is minus a into m by l. Okay, 
Now let me consider one more point which is y at a distance of b from capital a point. Okay. So at a point y again I am considering moment which is nothing but b into this downward reaction force Ra or nothing but m by l. So this again making an anti-clockwise. So it's a negative minus m uh, sorry uh, minus b into m by l plus here one clockwise moment making at point c here on clockwise moment so this is active moment so that is nothing but plus m okay so we got two equation one is at this point one is at this point okay so now let's take a value at c so at c if you just want to consider at c point just to take a value just left of c means it's almost l by 2 but it's not exactly l by 2 so let me consider as l by 2 so if i am using this first equation i'll get it's a minus m by l okay same way just consider the second equation and take a value very next to c means i'm not considering the moment uh sorry at c right hand side i'm considering the moment plus at that point i want to get the value so exactly again it's l by 2 very next to to c so again l by 2 so that i'll get plus m by 2 value means at that point one positive m by 2 and negative m by 2 the difference of this is the moment acting at that point so your shear force diagram will look like this okay or see another things this is the active moment now here rb is a reaction ra also a reaction which is opposite direction and acting at a distance l which will create a couple okay now you can see very clearly the active force is sorry the active moment making a clockwise direction moment so this reaction reactive will make in anti clockwise direction okay so this is the bending moment diagram now my next video is a problem 2 here same problem we are making one point load at the same location at C you can see now next video thank you for watching